rice, beans, tomatoes, candles, red lingerie. That doesn't even rhyme. Oh, wait a minute. That's my shopping list. So two days ago, I told you that I had lost a poem. Well, I didn't lose it. I misplaced it because I put my, I put it in my pocket after I wrote my shopping list on the back. By the way, that was not my shopping list, but I just made that up. But um, I have found it. I found it yesterday in my pocket, so I have it. It's ready to go. I thought I was not even. It was not even finished, but it is. So it's really great. Oh, I'm sorry. Welcome to episode 46 of the Love and Life Poetry with the Sanchez podcast. That is me, and yes, I'm going to read you this really quickly, because I took an extra long shower, and that took time from you. I'm sorry. So, this poem is obviously a love poem, and we're celebrating Valentine's, and I hope that you will love one of my poems and, and dedicate it to the love of your life. So, uh, this one is called Breakfast in Bed. Serve me breakfast in bed of kisses, food for the soul. When you kiss me, kiss me slowly, so I can enjoy you even more. I I want to always wake up to those kisses and to that love. And I want to kiss you back, to hold you tight, and much more. One second, I'm going to write a word on here because I just realized that I say and more, but it just sounds a lot better if I say and much more. So, very quickly, uh, you have six ways to follow this. Um, Brand new, I'm on iHeartRadio since yesterday. Uh, You can follow on my blog, my Facebook page, YouTube account, my SoundCloud account, or on Spreaker, which hosts this podcast. And I also do this in Spanish if you speak Spanish or know somebody who does. And share this if you know somebody who would love it. So what's coming soon? I told you a few more love poems because it's almost uh, Valentine's. And I mean, we'll talk about love in February, but not every day on and off. Because I've already been writing uh, life poems. In fact, I just started writing this poem. I guess I can give you a little bit of it. Because it's not finished. It's called Lucid Dreams and is a brand new, well, working on brand new uh, life poems. Uh, Let's see. Let's read a little bit. It says, I woke up today from a lucid dream, both knowing that I was awake. Okay, I messed up. Sleep and awake. I was in control and I was aware. So it's going to be a great poem coming um, in March, most likely, because in March we're going to talk about me, because it's my birthday. Oh, and by the way, do you know that March 20th is the International Day of Happiness? Huh. So it's another great day in March. March is amazing. March is amazing. It's a blessing for us all. So not only is the call, well, not not for me, but for some of you, the call might be gone by March, and uh, it's my birthday your lovely friend's birthday, and uh, what else? It's Women's Day on March 8th, right after my birthday, and it's the International Day of Happiness. So, great times. March is my favorite month by far. Oh, shoot. I have to talk to you about my love of Valentine's because I realized that some of you might think that I'm just this nutcase romantic, like hopeless romantic, who just goes on dates on Valentine's, but I have never actually had a date on Valentine's. And, um, <clears throat> yes, I've always celebrated Valentine on my own. So, and what I mean is, my husband doesn't do Valentine's. I mean, come on. <laughs> Valentine is much too girly for him. But anyways, that doesn't really matter. Even before I met him, I have, I have never celebrated uh, Valentine's with a man or a boy even. So Valentine's was big for me when I was a kid, from when I was a child, before I even had any kind of relationship or anything whatsoever with any boys. So, yeah, my love of Valentine's has always been there. It's not a romantic love. It's like, it's love day. You don't have to get all mushy-mushy with your significant other. 
And I know some if if a man out there is listening, he might be like, "Yeah, but watch out, okay? You know your wife might be really upset if you suddenly don't come up with a gift because I said so. So don't do that either. Don't go crazy. You know what she's going to want. You better convince her to go and celebrate underground with you. So, yeah, what I mean is, you know, like I said already, it's not about money. It's not about gifts. And... uh Love, your romantic love, you need to celebrate every day. This day is just to make a big, huge deal with everybody else and tell everybody else in the world and everybody else that uh, love is important. But it's not about, okay, today you have to bring out the, the hearts and the flowers and all that. I love hearts. And so I'll be drawing hearts. So I'm going to be celebrating Valentine's with my kids. So let me tell you what I have planned for Valentine's. Valentine's is going to be a great day for me. I don't have to work, which is amazing. I almost did because somebody's taking vacation and they needed somebody to cover, but somebody else did. So that's great. But on Valentine's, I'm going to go. I have, oh my gosh, I just met with an old friend from work who we don't see each other anymore because we don't work together anymore. But a great, amazing friend of mine, I just found her again and she has a kid who I've not met. I have three daughters little kids who she has not met so i was like let's go hiking oh so we went to a playground of course we did not go hiking but hiking is my thing and you know but uh because she has a little little one we went to the playground it was amazing so we have a date a play date planned for this uh thursday which is valentine's so we went last thursday we're going this thursday so i'm hoping to have uh play dates every thursday at the playgrounds different playgrounds all over and so this thursday is fun then so this thursday two week to start the day i'm gonna wake up early i'm gonna podcast we're gonna talk a lot maybe we'll do a long special and then i'm going to get my kids up and then we're gonna go to the playground spend a few hours at the playground it'll be a lot of fun and then after that i'm gonna come home and after that, in the afternoon, I have a class. So that's very exciting. Something I just accepted yesterday because I just realized yesterday I don't have to work. So I'm actually going to help a give a class. So a health and wellness class is really cool, really interesting. I probably heard about it a little more. But uh, that's it. Sure, I was talking about what's coming. What's coming is a little bit more love, obviously, life points. Uh, so what, what's coming that's really hot is the Love and Life audiobook, which I, I am trying to get uh, in there and get it started. It's been a little bit of a, of an issue, but I'm going to do that this weekend. I'm going to make sure to create my account and everything. So Life Poems, I already told you, and we're going to have some Ever Poems in March, and we're going to have some Women's Poems in March and we're gonna have some happiness poems in march and then poetry month is coming soon so we're gonna talk about poetry so um, that's it for now i'm running late thank you for listening of course and yes i did look myself up in iHeartRadio radio and everything from episode 26 of this podcast love and life poetry is on there so there's a few episodes on there and i already listened and i look great <laughs> Just kidding, you guys. Uh, <laughs> I always deleted my picture. I changed it last night. In fact, I'm thinking I will just because I want a better background picture. But anyways, thank you for listening always. You guys are great. You guys are amazing. And and have an amazing, amazing, amazing day. From me, your friend, David Sanchez, let's talk tomorrow and be well.